Well, hi. Sitting here thinking about uh, our friend Herman Cain. When I first heard about this fella, first heard about his uh, biography and the fact that he was running for president, I got really excited. Self-made man, businessman, upfront, honest. I really was hoping to be able to vote for Herman Cain in uh, the 2012 presidential election. Started to lead in the polls, started to do well. Then the allegations came. First, a couple of reports that there were some lawsuits filed against him. Nameless people, nameless women. Uh, and I thought, well, you know, he was a CEO of a corporation. Maybe he looked at somebody the wrong way. They filed lawsuits, settled out of court just to, just to get it off the books. Then another one came forward with uh, an attorney, obviously, and uh, began to make allegations. I'm thinking, okay, it's the Clarence Thomas routine, you know. A black conservative with half a brain, well, no, more than half a brain, a black conservative that could think for himself, they're bound to try to sink his ship. Then another one came forth, then another one came forth, and finally this one came forth with allegations of a 13-year affair and all through it, Herman's denying, denying, denying. I can't help but think, as much as I'd love to believe him, I can't help but think that, you know, where there's a lot of smoke, there's got to be some fire somewhere. So he's gone. And we're left with the rest of the field. I hope you all are praying about uh, the election next year. I posted a video a while back called Barack Obama for President in 2012. I really believe that. Uh, he will win again, regardless of who the Republicans win, uh, run. Uh, I don't want that to happen. I hope I'm wrong, but I can't have a feeling that's what's going to happen. So pray for our country. Herman Cain, we're praying for you too, buddy. If you're telling the truth, I hope you're vindicated. And Herman, if you're not telling the truth, well, I hope you come forth and just salvage your reputation. I was thinking, too, you know, if old Herman were a Democrat, they'd have made him king by now. <laughs> they all love Bill Clinton. We know what a skirt chaser he was. Anyhow, looking forward to the move of God in this world, no matter who's president, no matter who controls Congress, Jesus Christ is still the Lord. He's still in control. His will will be done in earth as in heaven. So, keep praying. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, make him your Lord and Savior. Put your faith and trust in him for the forgiveness of your sins. And you don't have to worry about who's president because he's in control of your life. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.